Hey guys, what's up everyone? How are you people doing? Hoping that all of you guys are doing good and taking very good care of yourself. Welcome back to today's session. This is going to be for ICC 10th. Uh, this uh, session number 3 of Machines chapter. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Anam Manoharan. I'm a Master Teacher of Science here at Vedantu. A very warm welcome to all of you guys out there and hoping that all of you guys are doing good. Welcome back once again guys. So today we'll be talking about combinational pulley that is one fixed and other mobile pulleys. That's what we're going to talk about. Before we get started, let me just start off this session also with a very simple quote. And the quote is this guys, the harder you work for something, the greater you will feel when you achieve it and that is something that I'm pretty sure that all of you guys would have experienced at least once in your life so I don't have to explain much about it you guys know the feeling that when you really want something and you really try for something and then you achieve it you really feel good about it and that is what I have to say that you just have to keep working because at the end of the day you would find light uh, in that tunnel all right anyways with that said guys let us get started with today's session so today will be like I told you combination of pulley that is one fixed and other mobile pulleys before that let me tell you what was the answer for the homework that had given in you given you in the last session the question was this guys name the type of single pulley that has an ideal mechanical advantage equal to two and the answer is very straightforward guys that is single mobile pulley because in a single mobile pulley the mechanical advantage is two the velocity ratio is also two so the right answer would be option number not option number the right answer would be single mobile pulley with that said guys let us start with combinations of pulley so here's the thing guys in the last session i told you about single fixed pulley and single mobile pulley and i had asked you this question that if I want to change my effort instead of pulling it upwards if I want to make it more convenient uh, for me to you know the direction like the convenient if I want to make it more convenient in terms of application of the force uh, of the direction of the application of force so yes guys in the last session I told you I had given you this uh, problem statement that say in a single, single fixed pulley we saw that uh, the, the convenience in direction was uh, it was convenient in terms of you know uh, applying the effort but then the problem was it was not exactly a force multiplier so whatever effort I put the load ha also had to be the same in a single mobile pulley we saw that the uh, load is reduced by a lot or you know about half of it but then uh, the problem was that the direction at which the force was applied or the effort was applied was not so convenient so I told you what is the best I ask you this question that what is the best way to uh, you know make it more convenient in terms of direction of the application of force as well as reducing the effort as well and that is what we're going to answer in today's session in detail this so using a combination of pulley what you're achieving is basically you're reducing the effort to half that of the load so whatever is the weight of the load you're reducing that to half which is a very very good thing and more importantly it is also applied in a convenient direction because doing the same effort with a single fixed pulley would not be as convenient as it, it should be because of the fact that in a single fixed pulley the effort is also equal to the load so whatever is the weight of the uh, load i have to put the same amount of effort as well which is not something that uh, we find convenient because obviously we want to force multiplier if in case i want to lift up very heavy loads like you know let's say a 10,000 newton uh i would say a uh, container or something like that so there i would have to think about uh, using a force multiplier rather than just using a simple pulley system. So what we can do is basically use a combination of pulley to make sure that our effort is also reduced at the same time we are also putting the uh, you know effort in a convenient direction. So in this case we are going to talk about one fixed as well as other mobile pulley. So if you were to combine all of that, how would it look like? So basically this is what it would look like, a simple combination of a single fixed and a single mobile pulley would look something like this. So the effort is in this direction, which is more convenient because you are going with the direction of gravity. So that would aid you. Apart from that, you have the load, which is fixed to the single mobile pulley. So here, the thing is that we had seen in the last session that whatever is the load applied over here, the load would get basically uh, divided or, you know, is going to be supported Separated into two, you know, basically that is what we call as the tension on the cable. So tension is nothing but the uh, the force uh, that is applied on the cable because of the uh, load that is put on the uh, pulley. So here we see that the load, the tension on the wire is going to be divided into two. So basically, in other words, this is nothing but load would be equal to whatever is this. So we'll take it as T1 and T1. So that would be basically the load. T1 plus T1 would be the load because in a single pulley, whatever is the effort, it gets divided into two. So both of them are actually applying the effort over here. Now, here's the thing guys, when you're doing this kind of co combination, first of all, 
you're reducing the effort absolutely because in a single mobile pulley it is a, a force multiplier the mechanical advantage is two so yes it's a force multiplier and using a single fixed pulley would mean that i could apply the effort in a convenient direction as well so it's a combination it's like the best of both of them combined in one to make it a, a lot more easier to make our lives a lot more easier so here's the thing guys what we're going to do right now is we're going to look into an example of one fixed and three mobile pulleys we're going to talk about what are the load in each of these pulleys what are the effort that you have to apply as well and we'll also take uh, we'll also derive the uh, we'll also uh, take out the mechanical advantage the velocity ratio as well as the efficiency of the machine so we'll get started so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a free body diagram of this exact same pulley system so we have the load which is kept on one of the uh the mobile pulley then i have another pulley mobile pulley over here one more over here and one fixed pulley over here now here's the thing is now this is where i want you guys to focus the load would basically apply some sort of force or, or would create some kind of tension on the cable so basically that is what is represented as t1 and t1 so whatever is the load would be uh you know the two uh, two uh what to say two uh uh to counter that load we have to there'll be some kind of tension on the wire that is t1 and t t1 now this t1 would be the load for the second one this whatever the t1 that you get this will be the load for this one for that for the second pulley that will be the load and this would be the effort that you have to apply to that is there to counter that particular load so you have t1 t2 and t2 which is caused by t1 all right the tension on those two wires are caused by t1 now for the third pulley system if you look at that sorry about that guys sorry about that so let's just skip back to that guys sorry about that so we have one second trying to figure this out ha huh. so yeah uh for the third one however if you look at that for the third pulley system this would be the this would be the load and these would be the tension that is on the cable because of the load t2 so load so here what is happening is that the tension is turning into the load so because you have a combination of pulley the load of the other would the effort of the other would be the load of the other pulley and again so on and so forth so now in the last case however because we know that in a single fixed pulley the effort would also be equal to the load so whatever is the effort over whatever is the load over here the effort would also be the same so whatever is the value of t3 the value of t t3 uh, that is the effort would also be the exact same now what we're going to do is we're going to find out what does that really mean now for the first one guys for the first one i'll just write that over here so load l1 or l is equal to t1 plus t1 because it's divided into two right t1 and t1 now what is t1 and t1 so basically this will be load is equal to l, l is equal to uh 2t1 now what is the value of t1 t1 is equal to l by 2 very simple now this l by 2 is the load for the second pulley that is the load for the second pulley so if i have to calculate what is the effort or what is the load uh because of the load what is the tension on the uh, on the two cables that is the or the two cables of pulley number b what would it be so what will i find t1 is equal to t2 plus t2 because of this load there is tension on these two cables t2 and t2 so here t1 is equal to 2 t2 very simple now what is the value of t2 t2 is equal to t1 divided by 2 as simple as that now what is t1 t1 we found as l l2 l by 2 so i'm going to substitute that over here i'm going to write it over here guys so t2 is equal to l by 2 divided by 2 which i can write it as l by 2 into 2 which i can also write it as l by 2 to the power 2 because 2 into 2 it's the same thing now here's the thing guys the same thing i want you guys to do it for the third pulley as well so when you do it for the third pulley so you got this for the second one you got for the second mobile pulley you saw that the uh the uh, you know you got t2 as l by t2 to the power 2 for the third pulley if you calculate it you'll get t3 plus t3 is equal to t2 so here it'll be 2 t3 is equal to t2 so put the value of t2 over here which is l by 2 to the power 2 you'll get it as l by 2 to the power 3 as simple as that now this is the load for the last pulley this t this t3 that you found is the pull is the load for the last pulley which is a fixed pulley now in that case we have seen that in a fixed pulley the load is equal to the effort so whatever is the value of t3 that is l by 2 to the power 3 
will also be the effort as well. So in other words, the load decreases by uh, 2 to the power 3. So that is what you're, you're actually finding out. You're, you're, you're proving that whatever is the load divided that, that divided by uh, 2 to the power 3 would actually be the effort from your side to lift up that particular load in this particular you know pulley system. Now here's the thing guys. If I have to find out the mechanical advantage, all right, well, I'm, I'm just going to try to try to find out the mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is what the load by effort. Very simple. Now load is L itself, no change whatsoever. Effort has a change to L by two to the power three, right? LL gets cancelled. So what am I left with? This goes to the numerator. So I'll get mechanical advantage to be two to the power three. As simple as that. Now instead of three guys, I'm going to replace it with n. So I'm going to write it as 2 to the power n. Now why n? See guys, in a single fixed and other mobile police, the mechanical advantage will be 2 to the power n, where n is the number of movable police. In this situation, if you guys go back to the picture, you can see that there are three movable police and you found the mechanical advantage also as 2 to the power 3. So whatever is the number of movable police in a single fix and other movable police, the mechanical advantage will also be equal to that. That is 2 to the power n. As simple as that. So the mechanical advantage is 2 to the power n. Now to find out the velocity ratio. Now this, this is going to be a little bit more easier. So velocity ratio is what distance moved by the uh, effort divided by the distance moved by the load. Let's say that the distance moved by the effort or distance moved by the load is x. Let's say that it has moved at a distance x. Now, in a, in, a more, in, a, in a single mobile pulley, we had seen that the velocity ratio is 2. We saw that the velocity ratio is nothing but 2. Velocity ratio is 2. Which means that what is velocity ratio? It is nothing but the distance moved by the effort divided by the distance moved by the load, which is equal to 2. So distance moved by the effort would be equal to what? 2 into x, because here in this case, the distance moved by the load is x. It is moved by a distance x, so it will be 2x. This is for the first pulley. Do the same for the second pulley. What will you get? You will get it as 2 into 2 to the power 2 into 2x, which I can write as 2 to the power 2x. Very simple. For the third one, when I find it out, it will be 2, 2 cube x. So, so on and so forth, I will be able to find that out. Now, for the third pulley, whatever is the, uh, you know, whatever is the distance moved by the effort, uh, distance moved by the load, the distance moved by the effort would also be the same because it's a single fixed pulley. So, whatever is that, that will be the same for the dis for the effort as well. So in other words, the effort also becomes 2 cube x. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find out the velocity ratio. I found the effort to be 2 cube x divided by x, that is the distance moved by the load. x, x is cancelled. And what am I left with is 2 to the power 3, which again, if you think back, is what we got for mechanical advantage as well. So for the mechanical advantage as well as velocity ratio, the value is going to be 2 to the power n if in case you have a single fix and other movable pulley where n is the number of movable pulleys. How many of a number it is? 5, 6, 7, how many of that is? The number of movable pulley is nothing represented as uh, n and that would basically give you the mechanical advantage as well as the velocity ratio. As simple as that. Now that you've understood this guys, what will be the efficiency? Again, 2 to the power n divided by 2 to the power n. So you'll get it as 1, which is nothing but 100%. So the efficiency in this machine would also be 100%. As simple as that. Now, guys, now that you've understood this, let's uh, put, it, uh, put, it onto, put, it, put it into perspective. So one uh, fixed pulley and other mobile pulleys, the mechanical advantage is 2 to the power n, velocity ratio is 2 to the power n, and the efficiency would be 100% or 1, and uh, nu is equal to 1, which would basically be, that is 2n divided by 2n, which would give you, again, 1. As simple as that. So yes, guys, now is the time for us to solve some questions. I hope you guys are ready for it. Now, I want all of you guys to write out the answer in the comment section below. Whatever the answer is, put it on the comment section below and let me know uh, where, you found it, uh, where you found it difficult or was the questions easy or not, all right? So here's the first question, guys. The, uh, the alongside figure shows the combination of a movable pulley P1 and a fixed pulley, uh, pulley P2 used for lifting up a load W. If the free end of the string moves through a distance X, Find the distance by which load W is raised. You're supposed to find out what is the distance moved by the load. They've given you the distance moved by the effort is X. 
they have given you the load to be W. So here's the thing is the tension on the uh, on the uh, wire or on the cable is given as T. So first thing, write that down. So these are the options. One by two, distance moved uh, by the effort is one by two. Distance moved by the effort is one by three. Distance moved by the effort is one by four. Distance moved by the effort is one by five. So here is the first thing is, so W, you can write W as T plus t because that is the tension that is given so w is equal to 2t that's what we found out so we found out the load now to find out uh so for this again uh we're gonna uh, see it's it's one single uh it's a single fixed and uh, you have a one mobile pulley as well so one what you can do is that you can directly use the formula for this one that is we just found out that uh you know if you think about uh the So here's the first question guys, the, the alongside figure shows the combination of a mobile pulley P1 with a fixed pulley P2 used for lifting up a load W if the free end of the spring a string moves through a distance X find the distance by which the load W is raised. So you're supposed to find that distance. So uh, you're supposed to, the, the distance moved by the effort is X, you, you don't know the value, you're gonna put it as X. You're supposed to find out what is this, what is the distance that the load moves. You're supposed to find that out. So for this question, guys, what you can do is, so these are the options, by the way, you have one by two distances, uh, one by two distance moved by the effort, one by three distance moved by the effort, one by four distance moved by the effort, or one by five distance moved by the effort effort first of all guys for this question what you can do is what is the first of all find out the velocity ratio so for the uh, to find out the velocity ratio for this case it's 2 to the power n what is 2 to the, there are how many more pulleys there's only one more pulley so it'll be 2 to the power 1 so which is nothing but 2 now that you find out the velocity ratio velocity ratio is what distance moved by the effort distance moved by the effort. I'm gonna write it as distance moved by the distance effort divided by the distance moved by the load right now, what is the distance moved by the effort? That is X. Distance moved by the load, I do not know. So let's keep it as A, or A and the velocity ratio is 2. So what is the distance moved by the load? X by 2, which is nothing but 1 by 2 into X. As simple as that. So the right answer, guys, would be option number A, which is nothing but 1 by 2. You can either do it like that or you can do it this way also. Basically, uh, again, you're doing the exact same thing. But instead of using the formula, you're actually finding out the mechanical advantage this way. And then you can uh, still end up getting the same answer. But this would be much more easier because you just saw the formula. It's 2 to the power n. It's easy to remember as well. So put that, find out the uh, you know, velocity ratio. In this case, they have found out the mechanical advantage. Then they have also found out the velocity ratio as well. You can also do it that way. This, this will also give you the right answer. That would also give you the right answer. All right. With that said, moving on to the next question. The second question. The diagram shows an arrangement of three pulleys A, B and C at the total. Uh, the load is L and the effort is marked E. Calculate the mechanical advantage and velocity ratio of the arrangement, assuming that the pulleys are weightless and there is no friction whatsoever. It's direct question, guys. Here we go. The options are mechanical advantage is eight, velocity ratio is eight, mechanical advantage four, velocity ratio is also four, mechanical advantage two, velocity ratio two, mechanical advantage one, and velocity ratio is also one. So the diagram shows, so the, this is the diagram, guys. So you have two mobile pulleys and one fixed pulley. So what would be the mechanical advantage? Mechanical advantage is two to the power n, which is two to the power two, which is give which gives you four. The velocity ratio is also two to the power n, which is nothing but two to the power two, which will give you four. So the answer, guys, as simple as that. In a second, you can find that answer. It's nothing but option number B, where mechanical advantage is also 4, and the velocity ratio is also 4. Now that you've understood this, guys, that would be the question solving part. But yes, as always, I have a homework for you guys. This will be your homework. I want you guys to write, uh, let me know what is the answer in the comment section below. Here's the question. What is the mechanical advantage of a combination of three mobile pulleys? with a fixed pulley what is the mechanical advantage of a combination of three movable pulleys with a fixed pulley very simple question i want you guys to let me know what is the answer in the comment section below thank you for joining people that is it from my side i hope you guys learned something new out of today's session i hope you uh, enjoyed it thank you for joining see you all in the next one take care of yourself if you guys did like the video do share like and subscribe to the channel so that you are the first to uh, you know don't get notified and also to answer the you know uh, question the homework question in the comment section below and if you want to reach out to me you can also reach out to me at anup.manavaran at thereadvedanta.com that's my personal email id you can reach out to me on that thank you for joining see you all in the next one take care of yourself stay safe bye bye people thank you